What's going on there, LEGO fans? Welcome back. Alex here. I am standing here in the very corner of my basement here. Get a good look of each direction of the city from there all the way over to this side. And not a lot of room in this corner here, so I'm going to do my best to show you uh, the latest update to this uh, skyscraper that we've been very busy building, and this is the elevator update. So this is the elevator pod, uh, I guess is what you call this unit, lifts, I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, this, uh, this is just basically a, an 8 by uh, 16 build, a uh, very similar build with those uh, uh, blue translucent uh, elements there, or windows. And you have a lot of these Technic elements, which is basically the track, almost kind of like a ride, um, except it's just not as fun. Uh, so you have this uh, this track that continues all the way up as well as two gray strings that kind of blend in there uh, with the rest of those elements, but there are two. It's actually just one string, a continuous string that does loop inside of these Technic elements there. Uh, but anyway, so it goes all the way up to the very, very top here. I'm going to hold the try to hold the camera still as I go to the very top here and tippy toe and reach really high into the sky. Uh, as you can see, the top of the assembly there is attached to a power functions motor. I do have an IR receiver attached to it as well, so I can actually control it. Um, but you can see the assembly there is so close to the ceiling. If I shake the tower a little bit, you can see it doesn't quite scrape the ceiling, uh, but it's about as high as you can get uh, a Lego structure under here uh, without it actually touching there. So all right, turned on the motor at the top. Now I can actually have to point this at the IR receiver at the top so it gets a signal here. So let's go ahead and just see if this is going to work. So far, so good. No snags. A little bit of one there. Clear from the light. That's always great. All right, it's getting really close there. A little more. There we go. <laughs> a little bit, little bit, a little bit too much there. It's hard to get it right on. Sorry guys, I'm shaking the camera all over the place. Um, it's it's funny. I'm, I'm here behind the camera. I got my both of my hands raised in the air here. It's kind of silly looking, but anyway. So there it is at the very top. Um, now keep in mind uh, that it might be a better option to actually have the elevator stop on the 12th floor rather than give it roof access. And and I'll refer to that uh, in a little bit here when I show the other side. But uh, let's go ahead and bring this thing back down. A little faster there. So I think all in all, it's very smooth. Uh, I This is probably like my third attempt. I had several other attempts at this thing uh, to make it work. And a lot of the assembly that I had before with this pod was to actually have the power functions inside. Uh, and it was working really well. Uh, it just didn't have enough power uh, to lift it all the way up or lift it at all actually. It went down just fine but not up. Now, it would have been probably a good idea to do a counterweight. If I did a counterweight, it probably would have worked a lot better um, because then you're thinking about, okay, well then, it's not really lifting the elevator vertically. It's more of a horizontal lift if you think about it that way. But I just decided to just simplify it and just go with this uh, more simplified assembly with the, uh, uh, with the string. Let's go ahead and take a look at the elevator itself. This is a view that the minifigures would see as they approach the elevator. Yes, very, very tall opening. No doors right now because I am kind of broke and I'm over budget here with this thing. So uh, this is about as best or as good as it's going to get for now. Uh, but, uh, you know, a lot, lot of space here for very tall minifigures. A little bit of a control panel in there. Uh, as well. Uh, basically, if whatever you're putting in this elevator doesn't fit in the elevator, it's not going to fit in any of the floors upstairs. At the very top here, you might have noticed that um, you're probably saying, uh, Alex, you forgot to put the string through all the Technic elements. Uh, kind of, sort of. I, I realized that having just one of these elements on either side wasn't enough, so I added some more to make it stronger. Um, but I had the string all the way through it already, and I really just was kind of tired and didn't want to put it through those. Anyway, a project for another night. On the sides, we have these Technic elements uh, that are attached to the elevator itself, just to kind of keep it on the track as it's going along these uh, right here on both sides. Uh, so those just keep uh, the elevator itself straddled on those and in line so it doesn't uh, snag the building or obviously fall. At the very, very top here, I just kind of try to show you the uh, the layout here. I 
obviously didn't go crazy with making this all aesthetically pleasing because it was mostly going to be hidden and it's so very high up here it's hard to see anyway so uh, but here's here's a good look at the assembly up here I, I created two uh, strings and two um, uh, cranks here for it uh, not two cranks just one it's a single one but it, it pulls evenly or equally on on those strings and uh, again so very close I mean really I, I don't know if the camera can even uh, show how close that is but it is I, I mean if I if I push up on it just push up on it like that then it scrapes but under its own weight no it uh, it swings without touching it. it's amazing I have here the IR receiver uh, let this thing go up yep there we go and yeah let's see how fast this thing goes oh you know what's funny what this is so funny I forgot to put this thing back on the track look at this thing it is just swinging around. <laughs> it's swinging around. That is hilarious. Hold on, let, let me let me fix that really quick. All right, we're we're back on track here. So let's go ahead and try this again. Go to the top here and show you the crank working away. Now you'll notice that I've got a couple of uh, gray elements at the top here. Let me stop this thing right there right here and right there. Those are the emergency stops uh, to make it so that this doesn't break free of the elevator itself, um, but they're too small. So right now it's actually not exactly safe, um, but uh, that's why we're testing it right now. So, um, but now if once it comes up there, you'll notice that um, there's a nice little walk through or uh, walk about for the minifigures to go through there and then they can actually walk to the edge there and and check out the amazing views of uh, Minneapolis. One more thing I like to show while I am over here with the camera, I got here in the front of it and I've taken a lot of great feedback on this and added balconies. So there's a little walk out here on both sides of the, uh, the tower. Uh, so got some elements there from another uh, BrickLink order and made that really, really nice there. So Bruce Wayne and his uh, date are both uh, and agrees that it's really, really nice and they're enjoying that view. So awesome feedback. Thank you very, very much. So as I back up here, again, I just got to say, wow, this thing looks great, doesn't it? I could be a little biased though, but just saying. Anyway, uh, what I was so talking about earlier with uh, the, the elevator going up all the way to the very, very top, right? Does the elevator track and, or shaft and having it up there uh, is it an eyesore? So if you're looking at the uh, the building from a little ways, I mean, it looks really nice, but then you have this kind of, I don't know, thing protruding from the top there. It's not symmetric. And on the side here, you can obviously see the track uh, for the elevator. Uh, so I don't know. I I kind of think I'm not going to probably, I'm not going to change the track. It's, it's staying there. That's the only place I can put it. Um, so I guess the option here I'm asking is, do we remove... Uh, access to the roof and kind of so what that would do is basically take all of that power function stuff the, the track itself um, out of sight and then of course the um, the elevator of course would stop right there on the 12th floor and then for roof access I guess we'd have to just do some stairs I don't know let me know what you guys think there and uh, uh, anyway but so that is where I'm at with the evolution of the tower so with the elevator now in there. I'm going to start with the interior on floor one. And uh, a lot of people had great ideas. Thank you very much for your ideas. I love them. Keep them coming. And uh, over the coming months, we'll get this baby filled up. So that's it for now, guys. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Later. Bye-bye.